This is a uh, response to uh, free range parenting on sexual futurist. I'm gonna try and make this brief because it re I've researched a lot and this really is uh, <laughs> this really uh, is a big topic. Now, Cognition Prime here on YouTube has given me a lot of help uh, tracking down sources, and uh, I'm gonna put a few books in the links uh, in the description box just to uh, give you some more info to go on now. Uh, he was talking about Taoism, and Taoism sees your sexual energies as part of a whole range of energies you put into your way. Now, your way in Taoism, you can have the Tao of dot dot dot, like the Tao of motorcycle repair, or the Tao of uh, being whatever it is that characterizes you definitively, and everything is seen relative to that. You know, there's me, Ozzy Griffin, the blogger. And that's maybe not my Tao completely. However, it is damn well uh, the way you're seeing me now. And everything I do has a reflection in this. Maybe some are more prominent than others. However, that's the holistic view. Now, in the past, People didn't have temples just to worship one god. You would leave offerings at many temples, and you would consult, if need be, with the priests or priestesses or other practitioners of many temples, because you were trying to find uh, your self relative to these things. A lot of them, a lot of people, well, oh, that's the wrong word, a lot of cultures used temples to uh, the erotic or the masculine or uh, the insightful or any particular thing not as you will only go to this one temple for the rest of your life they use them more like more like uh, motorcycle repair shops you only go in there if you need to tune something up improve it or if you need to uh, get in there and do some serious repair work. So, the Indian temples of the uh, Kajuraho, those were tune-up centers for Indian sexuality. I mean, the walls are pornographic. It's beautiful, uh, to a certain extent. Ancient Rome, up until about, mm, about three, maybe 400 uh, AD, was more than happy to endorse that system. And then uh, Judeo-Christianity got in there. Uh, and that was a heck of a thing. Uh, Turkey, up to about 700... And the Eastern Mediterranean, up to about 700 BC. Um, Astrate, the Greek name, was a goddess depicted as uh, having milk flowing from her breast. Not because it was erotic. Uh, it was because it showed a holistic uh, view on motherhood as part of life. And yes, men did occasionally work with those priestesses, though not as much, because they might need to tune up uh, their sensitivity to something in their life. There was, uh, and sometimes it was just out and out inspirational, like the Maypole dances in what we now call the United Kingdom, or the Hyrios Gemos uh, ritual in ancient Sumer, about 3500 BC, is when there's a last record of it, uh, to the goddess Inara. The high priestess of the goddess Inara would have sex with the king of the country, the Maypole dancers actually had a similar thing whereby uh, the marit matrimonial conditions were lifted uh, for that time, uh, for those festivals, just so that uh, people had an excuse to fully express themselves at least once a year, or once every couple of years. Anyway, the important thing is that it's actually very rare, even after the sexual revolution of the 1960s, to see people able to see their sexuality as part of their holistic life. Now, while Cognition Prime and I disagree on uh, maybe how much porn could go to being part of a holistic uh, lifestyle, not that much, I might add, uh, I can definitely say to you that it's not about shoving it down people's throats like advertising companies do 
it's more about, or even some of the lower class pornographers, it's about offering people options that when they need to look at those energies within themselves and express them or deal with them or analyze them or improve them, they have that opportunity there to do so. This is why the Cambridge University Debating Society uh, rule had a debate with the top people in the anti-porn movement and eventually came out and ruled that yes, porn is doing a benefit to society. And until our society really restructures where porn, where sexuality and knowledge of your uh, genitalia and everything else is just run-of-the-mill common stuff, people are still going to feel a bit edgy about this because they're not being taught how to fully handle all of the energies in their lives. And if you're asexual, good for you. You beat the rest of us. You've got way more time on your hands. Let me know how the model ship building's going. Anyway. That's what I'd do if I didn't have to worry about sex. <laughs> anyway, so I hope this has given everyone a bit of perspective. Uh, you can Google uh, any of the subjects I'm talking about. And frankly, I hope every, everybody has a good think about this and feels better about it and has some different ideas about how they looked at it, not just the past, yet how they look at the, for the, uh, the future they see for themselves and their uh, children or their friends or their family or whoever. Anyway, have a good one. I'm out.